Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my weekly makeup basket and product pan for you. The weekly makeup basket is primarily my panning project items and then the product pan is something I do with my girl Amanda where we randomly pick a product each week to work on and this is all based off of a project that Becky Loves Kanga does and I'm going to have both of them linked down below so if you want to go check them out they're going to be right there or you could just wait till the end of the video. I will have their pictures linked at the very end of my video so you can just click on their beautiful faces and go right to their channels. I am going to try to quickly get into this makeup basket and um, then get onto the product pan. It's late at night and I, I've had a rough day and I just want to I just want to get it done. All right, starting with the primer, I am working on the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Um, it's okay, not my favorite. It's a very lotion-y kind of. It reminds me a little bit of the Smashbox Primerizer in, in texture, though my skin doesn't react as violently to this Too Faced, so there is that. Um, Foundation, I'm working on my Franken foundation. I actually had to just make another one. The color is a little bit off, so I am kind of, I'm working on adjusting that right now. For the concealer, this thing will not die. This is Julep Cushion Complexion um, in 140 Buff. It's, it's not going to die. I think it's going to last me for like another 100 years. But I enjoy it, so I guess that's a good thing. For my powder, I'm working on my Franken powder. It, it looks horrible, but um, this is the e.l.f. shimmer powder, or the e.l.f. high definition shimmer powder mixed with like a bazillion other things, and I just pressed it into this compact. For highlighters, the same two. Probably for the next six years, I'll be working on these two highlighters. Benefit What's Up and e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls, which is the baked highlighter. I am going to pull out my magnetic palette and it has tons of stuff in here. I went ham on all of my magnetic stuff. All the singles and magnetic stuff is in here. So I have my blush from the Sephora Colorista palette and a bronzer from the Sephora Colorista palette. I can't talk. And this is kind of like a Franken shadow bronzer highlight. I'm not really sure. I just made it today and um, we'll have to see. That's too dark for a bra or for a highlight. We'll have to see what happens with that one. I might end up refrankening that one. Um, two gel liners from the Sephora Colorista palette. The little round pants are Sephora Colorista Franken Shadow, Supernova from Glamour Doll Eyes Franken Shadow. This is Glamour Doll Eyes Nymphette with a little bit of other stuff thrown in there. Bare Minerals Oz, two Mica Pigments that you can't get anymore from Coastal Scents, Peach Puff and Oktoberfest from Coastal Scents. So I'm working on those. Whew, that's a lot of stuff in there. I just, anything that I had still in a project that was loose, like a loose pan like that, is in this week. I just, I got bored with last week. With I felt like I was doing the same look over and over again, and I don't like that. So I decided that um, I, I needed to put what color I had in for this week. All right, more eye stuff because that's how I roll. The usual, the two toppers from e.l.f. Um, soiree and Toast. The Smudge Pot, Ain't That Sweet. I love those. They last forever. Um, I, more eyeshadow. I have lots of eyeshadow because throwing shade. Um, my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Of course, I'm still working on that. It's going to be going forever. And my three throwing shade palettes. I have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. I have the Elf Happy Hour. And this is a Coastal, Coastal Sense Revealed 3D Sampler. So those are in for, you know, this is my throwing shade week where I am working on all of them. And let's see... The rest of the eye stuff. Whew. Bad brain day. Um, primer, I am working on the Laura Geller Waterproof Eye Spackle still. I really have no idea how long that's going to take me. 
For brows, I've got the e.l.f. Neutral Brown Brow Pencil and the Hema Gloss Gel Stuff that I really like a lot. And the Sephora Lash Craft Big Volume Mascara. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking this is close to being done because I'm not sure if it's like my mascara that's been flaking the last day or two or if it was just like an eyelash that kept getting in my eye I'm not sure but we will see I'll try it for another couple of days and if it feels like it's flaking then I'm gonna call it done all right um Ulta matte setting spray of course I'm gonna be using that and the lips I'm keeping fairly minimal because um I just want to get some stuff done I am working on this fresh sugar rose lip treatment I really like that a lot that's the first lip treatment that I've used by fresh and I if they're all like that I'm gonna love them and I'll I will repurchase that um, for the rest of my lips I have the Jordana plum liner the Estee Lauder nectarine and the urban decay hi-fi shine ultra cushion lip gloss in SPL so that is that. Let's get on to the product pan. Last week I had gotten this e.l.f. contouring blush and bronzing powder. I got the blush side, this one right here. It is actually what I am wearing on my cheeks today. I figured I would use it one last time before I picked a new product, which we're getting ready to pick. I did really enjoy that blush. Okay, let's generate the number here my screen is in night mode i apologize for that i can't even really see it too well is it going to generate a number there it goes the number is 226 so let's scroll down to see what 226 is and it is an eyeshadow of course it's an eyeshadow why wouldn't it be it is from the elf Baked eyeshadow palette. It's the Seattle palette and it is shade number two. I'm going to grab that out of my drawer right down here and I will be right back. Okay, I have my e.l.f. baked eyeshadow palette in the Seattle and this is what that palette looks like. And this would be shade number two right here because it normally would be flipped over. So that would be one, two. And I don't know that I've ever used this shade before. Let me swatch it for you. It's actually kind of a pretty shade. It has like a little bit of mauvey purple to it. So I'm going to enjoy using that. And that's really cool. I don't use this palette very often. So that's why we do product pan. I I'm kind of happy about this. I've gotten good products the last, I think the last three times in a row. I've gotten really good products. All right, that is it for this makeup basket and product pan. I am going to have Amanda's channel linked down below because she does this product pan weekly with me every Tuesday. So go check her out and see what she got this week. And also go check out Becky's channel. She's going to be linked down there as well because she created this product pan. So go check them out. Show them some love. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you in my next video, have a beautiful day.